hello friends in today's session we are going to discuss on a topic relevance branches in civil engineering in short sub branches in civil engineering myself bipin patil assistant professor department of civil engineering walchand institute of technology solapur so these are the learning outcomes for today's session at the end of this particular session student will be able to explain different sub branches in civil engineering so few domain branches are present under a civil engineering so these particular branches we are going to discuss here first one serving this is the primary branch surveying is an essential work which is carried out in the beginning of any constructional activity for example road survey work is present refer this particular photographs bridge work is present dam construction any type of work is there start from your residential buildings bungalows apartment commercial building each and all things first step is present that is nothing but the surveying basic surveying is there primary survey preliminary survey work is there so for that we require this surveying so i included here few points purpose of surveying why it is essential first one development of an area to develop this particular area for commercial building for road survey for dam surveying is essential second construction of transportation facilities such as for example roadways railways airfields pavements means here to prepare airports surveying is essential to prepare a roadways surveying is essential to prepare a railway work to provide a slope gentle slope so for that to identify the road profile we required surveying work next one construction of a structure such as building bridges dams etc for we required surveying work next one after that after this particular surveying work we required geotechnical engineering what it indicates here observe here these two particular pictures are present here now this is the close up view below the ground level what is the structure is present that structure the analysis of this particular structure soil structure instruction it's very important and to identify this particular we required now you just observe here at a certain type the layers are different so for that we required the geotechnical engineering shear strength of this particular soil so few points we are going to discuss here a detailed study of soils the formation composition and the properties of the soil which type of soil is present cohesive soil cohesion soil sandy soil is there so the study and analysis and the properties we are going to discuss in this particular geotechnical engineering detailed study of rocks which types of rocks are present igneous rock metamorphic rock so the properties of the rock strain parameter and the characteristics we are going to discuss in this particular geotechnical engineering different types of foundations are there the relative merits demerits importance of this particular foundation for cohesionless soil which type of foundation is essential for g plus 10 building which type of foundation you are going to consider there then stability soil soil stability is also very important soil bearing capacity then design aspect each and all things we are going to discuss here in geotechnical engineering then design and analysis of various earth structures such as embankments dams retaining walls so above the ground level what is the structure is there means if the water structure is present we are going to construct a bridge so water is present in that so which type of foundation is essential because percolation of water takes place there soil bearing capacity is different so study each and all things we are going to discuss geotechnical engineering in detail structural engineering first one surveying work is over 
now below ground level which type of strata is there we have studied now the basic thing that is the structural engineering after studying this particular two parameters means soil structure interaction which type of soil is there then the preliminary survey work is over we are going to discuss the structural engineering which type of strata is essential then load bearing structure is essential or frame structure is essential we are going to discuss this particular unit the knowledge of a material material behaviors and the selection selection of appropriate material for use we are going to discuss this structural engineering for example if soil strata is weak so which type of material we are going to use there and by considering the structural engineer structural engineers suggestion we are going to provide appropriate material for that proposing and designing of different components of a structure means suppose if hard strata is available you are going to construct frame structure if soft strata is available you are going to construct a load bearing structure so this particular suggestions we are going to discuss after the structural analysis of this particular structure then the estimating the stresses develop in the different components of a structure cost analysis is also essential so you just try to identify how much quantity of steel you required cement you required each and all things you are going to construct each and all thing you are going to identify evaluate here by considering the structural engineer then the construction technology different methods are present here in that basically which type of formwork we require all the activities undertaken in the construction of any structure come under this field so frame structure is present load bearing structure is present work breakdown structure is present there which type of work you are going to construct time limit project work so detail we are going to discuss in construction technology construction of a various types of structures making use of various types of construction materials are available here so which type of structure you are going to construct which type of structure you are going to construct after this particular construction work um, use of this particular types of conventional material the materials available easily or not each and all thing you are going to discuss in construction technology study of different technologies of a construction such that management of various constructional activities so for example plastering work you have to finish from so and so this particular period for slab work we required so and so period for this particular slab work what are the panels we have provided so you just place curing for this particular so and so period so each and all thing we are going to discuss in construction technology different parameters are present that is the material per human you required curing work plastering work then finishing work time finance means so uh, approximate cost we required for that legal aspects some specification each and all things by considering the civil engineer structural engineer then architecture we are going to discuss in this particular construction technology hydraulics this is related to the water water is an integral part of human life and almost each and all construction activity depends on hydraulics so few properties we are going to discuss in this sometimes fluid mechanics we call as basic properties of water these are the equipments few uh, paths are also present in that study of water in a rest and motion condition flow through pipes notches weirs open channel flow flow measurements how to identify the discharge each and all thing we are going to discuss in hydraulics unit next one water resources and irrigation engineering basically in dam site and for crop irrigation these two parameters these two sub branches we are going to discuss there are different sources of fresh water on the earth such as rain next one ground water and last one river or streams are there surface and sub surface sources are present the waters have to be harnessed and stored properly before they are utilized for different purposes right and such as we are using this particular water for drinking purposes for electricity generation each and all things different sectors are present dam water we are using for drinking purpose for irrigation for electric generation and same for cropping next one transportation this is very wide air roads railways docks and harbors 
so social and economical development of country were using this particular transportation engineering transportation it includes railways airways roadways waterways this is very wide field for that we require planning designing construction maintenance and according to that we are going to identify each and all things in transportation engineering my dear friends you just try to pause this video try to give the answer of this particular questions this is the answer of the given question to prepare this particular video i refer these are the references thank you